everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is June 29th, 2023. And today we're going to be analyzing our fewer resources, which the SX code is ARU. This is a rare earth developer with project here in Australia, North Territory, project called Nolan Rare Earth Project. And they are set to start producing in 2025, early 2025, which is pretty much about one and a half year from now. So a lot of things going on in this uh, on the pipeline of this company. They have just received uh, raising enough funds to start the procurement process uh, and start developing uh, and building the plant. And same time, the stock price is currently trading at what we call technically discounted price. And that's the reason that brought into my attention. So let's have a look. I just want to remind you, this is not a financial device. It's just from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply BGS20 and BG Trading strategies to the tech stocks that allow us to profit 20 to 40% within one to three month lead time. We also use those strategies to set up targets, stop losses, avoid buying stocks at the formal areas, and much more. So if you like this video, please subscribe the channel and share. Share with someone that you believe would be interested, could help uh, with making better decisions. Also like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, Buy, Grow and Sell Strategy for Share Traders. I'll be putting the detail at the description below, but become a member of this community. You have access to a great quality content that we generally post for our members and some of the posts that we uh, share with our VIP members. This community is free of charge. And also, I wanted to just remind you, this is the last day, and tomorrow is actually the last day for the end of financial year offer. Anyone that wants to become a VIP member uh, of, of BG Trading uh, could take the opportunity to sign up and become 12 months VIP member with uh, extra six months on the top and access to our app trading online course, which teaches you all about BGS20 strategy. Anyway, let's jump straight into the technical aspect today. So let's start a little bit differently. And by the way, this is the second time I actually recorded this video. <laughs> First time I didn't actually record. I did the whole video and just totally realized that I didn't record. I got a little bit upset, but that brought me to uh, potentially make even a better video than before. Our fewer resources, the stock's currently trading at 31 cents. Now, I wanted to show you why it's so important to have targets in mind. Always have a target, long-term target and short-term targets. If you have bought this stock about 52 weeks ago, one year ago, to invest for a year, let's say you're going to buy and leave that for one year, you would have made absolutely no money. It would be breaking even as we speak now. However, within these 12 months, you could have locked in up to 122% profit. Obviously, that if you have bought the stock at the bottom and sell at the top, which is pretty hard to do it. But let's say from this 122%, you could have easily made 35 to 50% out of this rally. And that is so important to, uh, to apply strategy when we're talking about not just uh, uh, this type of speculative stock. Speculative stock because it still doesn't produce revenue, doesn't generate any profit. If we go to the ASX website here, obviously we did say, uh, we put together a very compelling analysis, which I'm going to share with you uh, uh, shortly. Uh, you can see the key uh, fundamental metrics that we use, that there is no revenue and uh, huge losses. And then, uh, this is obviously a uh, um, reflection what the company is at the moment, a speculative company that is building a project and is consistently raising capital in order to be able to build its production facility. 
That's fine so far. Obviously, investors normally buy this stock in order uh, wait for five, six years uh, in order to uh, to get this company producing. But then there's a lot of risks in between, and even the risks that uh, maybe the industry changed the materials. So, uh, what I want to say here is you always have to have a target in mind. It doesn't matter if it is so uh, small, uh, the short term or the long term. Uh, term. But anyway, so uh, the idea of doing this analysis now is just because uh, we had a 54% share price fall within the last three months, actually since March 2023. And there was uh, some of this uh, part of this fall uh, we saw across the whole industry after Elon Musk come up and said that Tesla uh, would no longer use rare earth material in their new next generation of EV motors. In fact, I even put together a article here for you, explaining a little bit and sharing our thoughts on that. I was going to make this article available for you in our free Facebook community together with the post of this video. Uh, okay, so back into the stock analysis. So we saw this 54% uh, Correction and now the stock is trading at technically discounted price, which means it's trading under uh, this pink line and the red line, which is uh, which are some of our key indicators for long term and short term uh, average price. So essentially, what I'm interested in here is that the stock is currently trading close to what we call hypothetical support level. Remember, for our strategy, the hypothetical support is not one number only. It's not 30 cents. So anyone can come up and say, oh, this is 30 cents. No, it's actually a range. So if you focus in 30 cents, the stock maybe even goes to 26, 27 cents and then bounces back. And it still will be considered a uh, support uh, support level. So that's why I always talk about when you look into support, give give a range, a nice wide range. In this in this case, I would easily give a range of twenty eight cents to thirty two cents. So uh, essentially, we're talking here about almost a five cents uh, difference in the price. So um, yeah, so it's interesting uh, chart formation, but I still haven't seen any reversal indication. Uh, the volume is still pretty light in comparison to uh, to before. And um, as, uh, once we start seeing some, um, some potentially attempt of the stock to break out this hypothetical support line and bounces back again with strong buyer activity, that's where I would probably be looking to buy this. Now, it's, it's gonna, this stock is ticking, uh, sorry. Now, this stock is going to go to our watch list for the reason I just explained. So even though uh, we have some pretty uh, positive announcements along the way here, the trend was stronger than all those kind of listic information the announcements that not only make the share price goes up. So, and as long as we have this downtrend, this negative uh, sentiment towards this stock, uh, then even if the, co the company comes up with a good announcement, still uh, could fall further. So we need to see a reversal. Once we have this stock sort of uh, start consolidating around, maybe around these levels, I don't know yet, until we have the next formation. Uh, then until we have this, uh, not a really positive announcement will make the stock to change its strength. That's what experience has showed us in the past. Normally it takes a uh, few uh, months to actually change the whole uh, trend. But it is definitely trading in a very interesting uh, level here. And we wanted to find out where it's going to be reversing from now. So keep that on the watch list and let's now jump to the, t the fundamental aspects of the company. Let's understand a little bit what Arafira Rare Earth is about. This company specializes in exploration and development of rare earth deposits. 
Binance is currently uh, the biggest uh, rare earth uh, producer outside of China. Most of the rare earth comes from China. And this company, if successfully deliver its proje project, its uh, uh, Nolan's project in 2025, will become another uh, company producing outside of China. And we know that the world is looking for suppliers outside of China. The output product uh, for Nolan project is NDPR, which is a key material, key uh, rare earth material for wind turbines, robots, electric vehicles, MRI machines, telephones, and tablets, and even computers as well, and many other applications as well. This is just a few of them. And that's why even if uh, Tesla doesn't, doesn't use uh, this a particular material in their new generation of electric motors. I'm pretty sure other companies will do it, and but it's still pretty sure that Tesla will be using uh, these materials in other parts of its uh, cars. Anyway, they haven't actually said that, but um, it's sensible to think that. Anyway, uh, this company has a uh, very uh, has established a very compelling binding of take agreements with Hyundai and Kia, which is for the company as a unique in the market. So it's huge for, uh, for them. And then for this reason, uh, obviously part of the production is already allocated for those companies. You can tell this is a serious project that are likely to go Ahead. A bunch of non binding memorandum of understanding as well, which they call MOU. And then ultimately, those uh, MOU becomes out um, of take agreements in time. Uh, normally, companies uh, tend to adjust price and um, test its materials. And once that happens, then obviously we'll see potentially uh, during this time and the time which the project is completed, we might see those. Uh, MOU becomes uh, become uh, off take agreements and that will be positive for the share price, of course. Also, there's a lot of um, the big deal here now at the moment is how the company will finance for uh, the, the the completion of the project. At the moment, they have uh, raised capital uh, and then now in the procurement pro, uh, process, uh, buying the material for start. Uh, to start its um, construction. But then there's a lot more money uh, needed involved in the project. And interesting enough, this company uh, uh, has, uh, according to the latest investor presentation, obviously that's where we got the information from, uh, there's a lot of sources of uh, potential finance. And I have actually listed here on our stock analysis, if you're interested about this stock, I'm just going to go through uh, the, the headlines here. But it, it is, uh, first one is export credit agency funding, and then also possibility of MLA funding, then uh, in it London, uh, sorry, loan guarantee funding, then equity share with uh, its potential partner, potential off takers as well. There are many opportunities here for Arafira Rare Earths to uh, raise funds and complete its project. Obviously, every time we have a, a announcement about uh, more funding uh, be granted for this project, then the stock price should benefit from that particular information. And we should have uh, potential new offtake agreements, uh, announcements, MOU becoming agreements, announcements, maybe new MOU as well, and uh, finance information, and obviously, uh, the status, the status of the project construction project uh, in uh, North Territory. So I already went through the uh, technical analysis, but I just want to show you here the risks involved into this uh, stock. Obviously, uh, you always got to ask yourself, why uh, should I put my money? Should I invest in a company that is not generating revenue and is generating huge losses? You know, uh, so should, would you take your money in, and put in a company like this? Or if I if I ask your money for your money, can you invest uh, in uh, my business, uh, knowing that my business doesn't generate anything at the moment? So this is high risk, right? So like anything, you want to make sure you have a target in place, as I just mentioned before. So lock in profits and buy it again. And again, this is not a financial device. It's just sharing 
how we do here at BG Trading and how we uh, suggest uh, people, our, our viewers to do using if you are using with uh, BG Trading and BGS20 strategies, okay? So hope you enjoyed this analysis. Uh, I'm going to be putting the link of this analysis in our Facebook community. Make sure you go there, become a member, and um, and uh, take a read on this uh, full comprehensive stock analysis for Arafira Red Earth. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.